Hello, everyone. So I am joined now with Jennifer Sharp, who is the director and producer of the film Anecdotals. And I just wondered, uh, Jennifer, if you could just explain why you decided to make this film so, you know, our community and audience can can share the message. Yeah, I um, I got the Pfizer shot. Um, one Pfizer shot and I had a reaction, um, numbness, paresthesia. So I had an adverse reaction to the vaccine, didn't get my second shot. And this movie was inspired by my whole vaccine reaction journey, which encompasses um, telling people I had a reaction and having people not want me to talk about it. And that surprised me. Like people even close to me where it's like, they, they really don't even ask much. And they're like, oh, well, that's rare. And they say, they kind of dismiss you. And I realized there was this whole fear of saying anything bad about the vaccine. And I wasn't even saying anything bad about the vaccine. Like I was at a certain point, I'm like, I don't know, it still might be a great thing to do, but it happened to me. And that was my first question was when everybody, when I realized I couldn't speak my truth and people were telling me not to. And that was like, this is not right. Um, so then I got more and more frustrated when the mandates came out because I live in Los Angeles and I work in New York City. So I'm back and forth. And those were like two of the worst mandate places. So I was not allowed to participate in society. The rest of my circle was. So I'd be invited to parties and things. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm not allowed to go there. I'm not allowed to go to your party. And nobody even really cared about that. Like someone would call me and be like, oh, you know, we're having, oh, there was a funeral. A friend of mine died. And it was like, um, it was a funeral um, memorial, sorry. it wasn't a funeral, it was a memorial gathering. And on the invite, it's like, you must be fully vaccinated. And I'm talking to people on the phone and I'm just like, do you realize like, I can't. And then they're like, oh, I've never thought about that. Like, cause I'm vaccine injured. It's not that I didn't take the vaccine, mm -hmm. which I think is fine as well. I'm not separating myself from those people who chose not to because I completely support people who choose not to. But for the people who are very pro-vax, it's better, you know, it sounds better to them. And they're like, yeah, I took the vaccine and I'm still not allowed. I'd get a hint of compassion, like, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. And I'd be like, yeah, I can't go to stores. I can't go to restaurants. I can't. And they'd listen and be like, wow, yeah. And then we'd get off the phone and they'd go on with their lives. And I got really frustrated with not being able to, not being heard and people not listening. And um, the most they would do is just be quiet and I'd start talking and then I'd feel like I was ranting I made this movie to say the things I want to say to the people who aren't listening. And that was my inspiration. So what I hear a lot is the people that are pro-vaccine, they don't want to hear this because it's putting people off from having the vaccine. And the people that are against vaccines don't want to listen because they, they think well, you tell me what kind of responses you get, but the kind of responses I've heard from UKCV family yeah. and Caroline Pova is, you know, they think that you were kind of ridiculous and stupid or whatever for taking it in the first a place. A moron for even taking the vaccine, yes. Yeah, and so you've got both groups that are not interested in listening, and then you've also got the doctors who uh, are not interested or don't provide, I mean, I've heard so many, so many stories about how, people aren't getting any support they're not being acknowledged um is that being your experience those those different kind of reactions from different people i've been told specifically that i'm irresponsible and ethically immoral if i tell my story because i could be responsible for killing people because they would decide not to take the vaccine so i can't do that i'm just saying i had a reaction and i'll get a response like well there's still been so many people who saved by the vaccine and it's like, is that a way to respond to someone who just said they're injured? Like, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about my injury. They want to cover up my injury with, well, it's rare. Every, there's, a, there's, yeah, of course, there's a reaction to everything. Of course, there's, everything's going to have a reaction. And then that's how they respond to me saying I was not, how are you? Or, oh, I'm so sorry, right? I say the vaccine skeptics and the vaccine advocates. So then but that keeps it out of the politi political sphere. But um, the vaccine skeptics, yeah. I mean, people will be like, oh, yeah, you're a moron for even taking the vaccine. I see people say, like, when will I can't believe anybody would even put a poison in their body. Um, you know, you get what you deserve. And then they're even like, well, you know, they'll say things like in the comments, right? They'll say things like, well, you know, you're 
you, you know, you don't care whether we were ostracized and now, you know, you were all about kicking us out until it affected you. Well, now you made your bed. And that's not true. Like, but, I mean, but it doesn't even matter, but it's just like, my boyfriend is not vaccinated and he never got vaccinated before my thing. He made a choice and I, and I was totally supportive of people who didn't want to, I made a choice to get vaccinated, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I wasn't feeling like this is, I really didn't know. So yeah, a lot of anger. There's even like someone who called the movie misinformation. So it's been called misinformation on both sides, right? So the people on the vaccine advocates are like, it's misinformation because it's propaganda. And, and the, I mean, no one knows that these vaccine injuries are actually from the vaccine. It hasn't been proven. There's no scientific paper that proves that, the, that these injuries are from, and that's sort of like, this is propaganda. It's not true. And then on the, and then on the other side, I had somebody the other day call the movie misinformation. And I don't know what I'm talking about because I call it a vaccine and it's gene therapy. And it's just, just like just because of the word. Yes, just because of the word. And what people are missing is the injury. Yeah. Uh, Caroline Pover, she's she's vaccine injured, and she was talking about, you know, if somebody said I've got cancer, you wouldn't react exactly. by saying, yeah, it's well, right. you know, like this is you shouldn't say that. You focus on the injury, and you have empathy and sympathy that the person is going through this experience. Yeah. So it's very strange times that were very polarizing times that we're in right now. And unfortunately, people that are vaccine injured are um, are stuck in the middle of this this polarization. And as you said, you know, like without even getting political, there's there's just there's, there's a, a polarization right in the middle. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed that the the, doc, the documentary, the film, it's on uh, uh, YouTube. Um, have you, have, uh, I mean, some of the things on YouTube have been censored. Have you had any problems with it on, on YouTube? Yeah, YouTube took it down a day and a half after we put it up for medical misinformation. And we went through all the channels to appeal and they said no. And I was like, can you please tell me one thing in the movie that's medical misinformation? Because um, I spent three months with a lawyer to fact check everything in this movie, because this movie really is not for the echo chamber. Um, and if it was for the echo chamber, I would probably use the word gene therapy, <laughs> but it's not. It's I'm trying to make this accessible to to both sides, and I'm trying to really more open the minds of the people who wouldn't listen to me. So I wanted to make sure that they couldn't find one. Nobody could find one thing wrong with this movie because as soon as they're like, "Oh, this is not right," they're going to discount the whole movie. So I I told YouTube, you know, there's nothing that's misinformation. Okay, side note, and I'm trying to stop side noting so much, but there actually is one thing that's misinformation in that movie and actually a couple things and it's when i have fauci and walensky saying that if you get vaccinated you will not get covid and i have walensky saying that i have fauci saying that i have rachel maddow saying that so i show kind of like that that's actually misinformation because that's not true but that's still on youtube so that's not what they're talking about anyway um but we actually have senator ron johnson here who's been a really big advocate for the vaccine injured and people on Twitter started tweeting about the movie anecdotals, like YouTube took it off, censorships and, and all this stuff. Ron Johnson did a tweet also about censorship in the movie. His tweet got 60,000 views um, in two hours. And that afternoon, YouTube sent me a message saying they made a mistake um, and they're sorry. And they put the movie back up. Wow. Yeah, sorry, which is positive. <laughs> yeah. So that's actually a consequence of that tweet that it got put back up. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you know, like my channel is COVID positive news. <laughs> Let's finish on the positive. Yeah. What What has been the positive response that you've had from the movie? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So much positive. I wasn't even expecting it, but daily I get three to five emails from people who are vaccine injured who, and maybe not even from this vaccine, but a prior vaccine. And they thank me and they call me a hero, which like, I didn't totally, I've no, no thought that I was. Um, and they're just like, this is so, I, I feel heard for the first time. I've heard my story for the first time. You're giving me the strength to tell my story. Thank you. And now I'm going to speak more about it. And then they tell me their story. Like they will tell me some of the stuff they've been through and they're sharing this personal stuff. And I'm like, wow, like I was afraid to make the movie. I didn't want to get in this crossfire thing, but I know I did the right thing because of the way people are responding. Like I, I have helped people and I didn't even, I didn't even know it. So they, they're really, and the fact that the movie is so neutral, like it's, that's the one thing, you know, one thing people are saying is like, I've seen a lot of vaccine movies. I've been in this movement for 30 years. I've seen, and this movie is different than every other movie because it's not for the echo chamber. It's not political. 
it's, I made it for the pro vaccine people. I really did. Although there are some of them that still, you know, wouldn't touch it, but um, so yeah, so I, that's the positive. Like people are really responsive. There's, they say, thank you. It's one person told me, okay, the best thing they ever said, the best thing I heard was someone said, you know, this movie is so wonderful and you're doing such a great thing for humanity that if you never do another thing in your life, know that you have done a great service for humanity. That's a stranger. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I I'll take your word for it. Cause I'm kind of in the middle of it and all of, you know, but so it's been really amazing. Where can people find the movie? And also uh, React 19 is a, is a place that people can go to if they're yeah. vaccine injured in the US. Yes, if you're vaccine injured in the US, react19.org is a really comprehensive um, website that can tell you about how to treat yourself. It can put you in touch with other people. You can see testimonials. There's a support line. Um, and then it'll guide you to, to groups. Like I'm in a Facebook support group. So react19.org. I also know FLCCC, you can sometimes make appointments with doctors through that. So that's for help. And then um, my website for the movie is anecdotalsmovie.com. You can watch the movie on there. Um, you can look at, check out any references. I have reference pages. You can check out press. It's all there. Great. Thank you so much for talking with me. And it's such an important message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.